and welcome back to Dungeons and Devil Fruits One Piece D and D. I am your DM Orion. It's been a while, you know, busy, hectic schedules lately, but we're back with Akisu Blackburn, Micah. What up? We got Snyder, Coda. Hello. <laughs> we got Chibiusa, played by Siana. That's me. And Tonga Wirio, played by my co-host Sam. Your. Your. <laughs> I was expecting Your... something. <laughs> Just okay, okay. <laughs> that is a Mongolian type of housing. A yurt. <laughs> yes. Not oh, sure. <laughs> the Mongols know what they're doing. I, you know, get a nice. They're little very yurt. well insulated. Really, and mm -hmm. mobile. Very. I, I like yep. the concept. For anyone listening or watching, they may know that we just finished recording this week's episode. <laughs> yes. Uh, we got to interview J.V. Hillard, who is a grimdark fantasy writer. Yeah, and he had, uh, what do you say, two bestsellers on Amazon? Really but, fun guy. Yeah, bestsellers, a, working on a graphic novel, and a, a, like a, what is it, a, a TV series or something? Yeah, you said something like that. So, yeah. you know, I, <laughs> if, he, if he needs anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I, I might do a little voice work on the side. I'm not touching audiobooks for a while, but he, he said... I might. I think you should. <laughs> Unlike me, you have time and a soft voice. I do. Uh, I have too much time. Koda, if you have too much time, try, try it. Fuck it. <laughs> It's not hard to get into. Yeah, Ryan, where did uh, where did we leave off? Ah, yes. Uh, last where last we left off, y'all had infiltrated the the forest and had gone deep in. You you faced off against some of the Thai Man pirates. You faced off against some of the Zoo pirates. You took someone's head. You had brought it forward. You were trying to send a message after that skirmish. Roughed him up. Killed a bunch. One, let one live to, you know, deliver the message. I, I was honestly expecting you guys to at least leave the forest and come close to the Thai Man camp. But, you know, things don't go always go as expected. Yeah, we, uh, I, I guess we, you know, don't want to <laughs> overextend, as they say, you know, mm, and we could maybe revisit it at a later date, perhaps. Mm. You, you did run into more resistance than you expected. Right. I believe uh, at least one of you got downed last session. I did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a vibe check. Right. But yeah, we can, uh. I don't know, I guess we can consider this a win and, you know, live to fight another day, as they say. Exactly, and that kind of ties into what we were talking about on the podcast today. True. Now, sometimes half wins are still wins. We can just kind of, you know, hope that our message got sent and we can prepare for the next fight, right? So are we, uh, are we on our way back? Have we returned yet? Uh, yeah, you, you guys by this point would have returned to your your ship, mm -hmm. and uh, you're you're almost there. Well, let me just roll something real quick just to see what the situation is, because I'm the machine. Reminded. First roll of the session. Oh, I got three dice here. I don't know which one to use. We're going metal. All right. Well, as you guys get back, you uh, make a perception check. All of us? All of us? Uh, yes. Yeah. So I can't find my character sheet. <laughs> 14. 21. 17. 21. Bro, how does everyone know? 
How do I get back to my character sheet? I forgot. Uh, you go to actors, and then you go to PC. Thanks. Oh, damn. My bif my child is loud in the other room. Oh, oh really? that's funny. All right. Oh, I rolled garbage, so I see nothing. Damn, you rolled a one. <laughs> Ooh. Yikes. Okay. So, you. you guys board your ship. Okay, uh, let me look at the rolls here. Cause, I'm uh, completely distracted by something. <laughs> yeah. Tonga, you get on board the ship, and it's been a time. So you're just like, okay, I'm just going to go back to the... I assume you'd be going back to the kitchen, just kind of... Yeah, I just kind of like tunnel vision, like head down into my... I'll say I'll head to my forge. Yeah. Like, what kind of day is it? Uh, this is a uh, evening time, roughly. Yeah, okay. I'll so I head to like uh, like my workshop area. Yeah, you're just like kind of retiring into your own area to just kind of, uh, in a craftsman kind of way, just zone out, just do your own thing. Yeah. You, you, you've been through a lot. Would you say that... Um... Do we get a long rest, or I mean, not yet, right? It's not, not yet. Maybe uh, short. Okay. But, but that's the cool thing. Right? Long rest on ship is a valuable thing. Yeah, indeed. Uh, let's see, Chibi, Akisu, and Snyder. As you guys, oh, hold on, let me just uh, uh, my thing. I zoned out for a moment. <laughs> you just zoning out. You know, I'm a little bit spacey after the show, so I was taking a... <laughs> That's why I was so quiet. I was just watching a video. <laughs> trying to reset the brain. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's fair I'm enough. so tired. Like, I don't really even know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> okay. So, the three of you uh, back on uh, deck of the ship... You kind of notice a tuft of dirty blonde hair uh, sticking out from uh, behind uh, some of the crates that you have on deck. And, like, you just kind of, like, uh, hear a, a slight shuffle. And quieted. I kind of kind of nudge Akisu in the, like, hip. Because that's, like, elbow height. Can I try to sneak behind them? Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Give me a stealth check. I kind of try and point out, like, what the, what, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Twenty-three. Oh yeah, you you absolutely you you're you stealthy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Akisu with a nat twenty. Like you walk onto the ship, you're tall enough, you just see them. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> honestly, that that's exactly how it is. Like you just have that vantage point that the others don't, and you you just kind of see uh, what appears to no. be a hunched over Me, woman. Like, I, I walk a right past over them. Woman? Like, <laughs> yeah, like as she's trying to hide behind the crates. You just think now that I'm behind them, can I tell who it is? Uh, you look behind, and uh, you just see this uh, uh, this uh, woman kind of crouched over, dirty blonde hair with uneven tufts uh, from under, and she's got like kind of like a, a ragged headscarf uh, kind of wrapped around her neck. Uh, she seems kind of small and wire wiry. Like does she appear to be alone? From what you like can tell, yes. And at, at, if you had to guess, she'd be like maybe five feet tall at most. Okay. Can I try to grapple her? I was gonna walk up and be like, pick her up and be like, yo, what the fuck you on our ship? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So, so how do you do this? Do you just like go reach over the boxes? Yeah. Okay. You, you reach over and you just kind of like grab her by like the, the back of her collar and lift her up. Yeah. <laughs> Ah! Can I do like an intimidation check? <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> oh shit, that's normal. A uh, nat twenty. Oh okay, never mind. Well, there Oof. it is. <laughs> <Doesn't matter. laughs> He's fucking horrified. 
<laughs> give us this intimidation. Hold on. <laughs> Who are you? I'm just gonna puff up my chest really hard to make me look bigger. Yeah. You go to make yourself look bigger. bigger, but given uh, <laughs> how you do, you just make stature. yourself look bustier. And given her small stature, she's intimidated by this. She's immediately insecure about her smaller bust. You, you give her uh, flat chest insecurities. Nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, what are you doing on our ship, small fry? Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, sh she's small like... titty have an ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, she looks at you with a frightened expression. Her, uh, from looking her over, you see that her clothes are actually uh, patched together from various uh, fabrics, kind of giving her a disheveled, mismatched look. Her wide eyes are kind of like uh, darting from uh, place to place, never seeming to little settle on one thing for too long. And uh, she just kind of, she tries to look you in the eye before like immediately her eyes just kind of dart away. Uh, um, she's just kind of like, um, uh, 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 y y you caught me. Uh, I, uh, please don't kill me. Please? That's not answering the question. What are you uh, doing here? I was looking for stuffs. You know, any treasures? Like, ships that these big usually have uh, something worth stealing. Well, you picked the wrong ship. Y y yeah, clearly. <laughs> and then she just kind of, like, places her hands together. It's just like... Uh, any chance of letting me go? Maybe? Give me a good reason. I know I'm not here, but like, where's Rory? Uh, Rory's just kind of uh, hanging out on deck because... Um, did he see this too? Initially, he was riding on Akisu's shoulder, so... Oh, okay. I imagine <laughs> he's right there, okay. Yeah, so he, he, he's right there with everybody. Gotcha, gotcha. Is Actually, he still on my shoulder? That'd be kind of funny. We'll go with that. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm going to give a quick roll just to determine, like, Rory's perspective here. Yeah. Uh, okay. I wonder if he recognizes her. Uh, Rory just kind of peeks over uh, your shoulder at her, and he's just... He gives a look, but just kind of shrugs. And she looks like she might be one of the... Uh, uh, one of the uh, homeless uh, people from town. Can't say I know her face, though. You want to work for us? <laughs> Dude, this is such a loofy thing. <laughs> the woman looks at you, eyes wide. Yes, yes, please, please. Uh, uh, I'll do here. anything. <laughs> uh, 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 I'll, I'll mop the decks. I'll, uh, uh, I'm good at sewing. Nice. And, and honestly, it, it, it would prob I'd feel a lot more comfortable uh, with a female boss. Oh yeah, has have you had male bosses in the past? Yeah, they they, they tend to anger quite easily. Um, I, I mess up sometimes, and she just kind of like I starts won't scratching say. the side of her face. I won't say I don't anger, but I'm usually pretty reasonable. And then she's just like, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, if, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, boss, could, could I, could you put me down? Yeah, sure. And a, as you do, she kind of like heaves a big sigh of relief. <gasps> uh, uh, well, she tries to straighten up her clothes and uh, straightens her posture a little bit. Uh, she, she's a very slender and wiry woman. Uh, it, she's like, okay, uh, my my name is Tilda. I I've worked with a, a few small time smuggling crews between islands here and there. Uh, things kind of uh, went wrong with a, a previous crew. Uh, some there they had a bit of a mutiny and uh, falling out, and I being kind of 
the the new captain didn't really like me, so they just kind of threw me to the wayside when they came to port. Can I roll to see if she's telling the truth? I, insight. Yeah, absolutely. Insight. Uh, give me an insight check. Normal. Yep. I would say, uh, well, I don't, yeah, I don't want to. Thirteen. From what you can tell, uh, she doesn't seem to be lying. Mm. All right. Tilda, we're on the run from some people. I'm just going to let you know that right now. Yeah. I mean, we, I'm kind we of... We might have uh, shit on a few tables and taken a head or two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, her eyes kind of, like, widen, but at the same time, she just kind of gives, like, a nod, like, yeah. She's seen that kind of thing. <laughs> How good are you at fighting? Uh, you know, I, I've been a, in a few scraps here and there. I mean, I, I'm nothing compared to you. I mean, like, you, you're, you're massive. Like, you, you probably don't have to worry about too many things. But I'm not much of a fighter. More of a a, a pick. I, I, I'm kind of a pickpocket-ish. I'm good at height. Well, I guess I'm not objectively that good at hiding. You found <laughs> me right away. But I, I can fit into small I do places. have a vantage point, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I did be right behind you. <laughs> and there, I guess there wasn't really too many places to to hide on deck here. And she kind of like uh, gestures around. Do but, we still have that crate of uh, Zoom and pirate costumes? Yes, yeah, so that was what she was hiding behind. Oh, okay. Just, I'm just gonna go dig in that and be like, throw throw it at her and be like, here, put this on. Oh. She just like she kind of rifles through and finds a a smallish one and it, it still kind of like uh, looks baggy over her. Can I go find Tonga and ask him to cook something for her? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you said her name was Tilda, right? Yes, Tilda. I'm just gonna crouch down and be like, "Welcome to the crew, Tilda." Honestly, I, I'm relieved that uh, I had initially thought like maybe I could uh, hitch a ride uh, discreetly, but like being joining the crew is even better. There I think you you'll it. find us better than a smuggling crew. Yeah. I have great the, meals, so well, well kept, taken care of. Yeah, the, the Frost Forge are not too forgiving after uh, after small things like even if. Uh, the new leaders don't really. Yeah, they they don't like uh, people who mess up. So... You just gotta learn a little bit. Life's about making mistakes. I'm learn. teaching Rory here how to shoot a gun. I'm sure I can teach you something. Oh, so and Rory's <laughs> just like, yep. I'm doing. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting pretty decent. Remember when I shot that guy earlier? Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, we we should get a target. That that was oh, nice. oh a target. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey so Otilda, I... you think you can go into town and sneak us a target? Uh, so soon? <laughs> well, maybe let's have some dinner first. I mean, you would trust me so soon after meeting me? I don't know. Maybe let's have maybe some dinner. Maybe you should buy the target instead of stealing from the innocent shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're then. We're pirates. <laughs> I don't agree with this. Right. So I'd say like a few few minutes go by and you find me like in my workshop. Um, I would be using like the free time to like be working on the daggers that I want to make for you. Um, can I roll for that around? Uh, we had you roll for that before. It's so we roll take... every day. Uh, I think we're going. I think we were going for like a one-time roll or so for that because like oh, it's over the course of a week, so it's going right. to still take you a week to finish them. Yeah, off. Good. fair enough. Yeah, I'll just be like working on them. I say uh, you walk in and you see that I have like various like vials of liquids that are like a range of colors. Yeah. Um, you'd recognize them to be like the, my experiments with the blue blood and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. The, or the, the green, green blood or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you would see, you know, I have various like weapons laid out on my tables, and my walls, and stuff. Yeah. And I'd have like some like <laughs> would look to be just like garden tools, but like you know them as like the daggers you like to use. 
Oh. That's none of my business, but I'm going to come in and be yeah. like, hey, we got a new person on the crew. Do you think we can make them some food? I just kind of like, I like lift my head up and I'm like, a new person. We had a stowaway. Yeah. And I imagine you just like, you give me like a recap of everything she said. Yeah, you walked right by him. Do, do I know? <laughs> <laughs> do I? And she, and she like mentions a tilde. Can I like see if I, is that the name that like I've heard of? It's not one that you've heard of, but you do uh, know that a lot of uh, crews kind of come and go through the area. So yeah. someone being kind of uh, thrown about and uh, right. left with not much, it's not unusual. And that's how you guys yeah. found Rory. Okay. And what did uh, Chibi say that she does? She's like a seamstress? No, she's the thief. She's a thief? She does. She, can, uh, she does know sewing, right. though. Okay. I kind of like, kind of think on it for a moment. Yeah, I guess I could go for a meal. I kind of like think for a moment as I mentally check my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Is that code for checks actual inventory? Yes. <laughs> I love it. So I may have to do some fishing. I know we have like. You know meats and stuff on board but yeah okay so i'll say i'll kind of stand up <sighs> throw on my jacket you know and i'll kind of like head towards the door and i kind of turn back and look at you say i'll go for a quick scouting see if i can wrangle up some dinner for tonight mm. and i want to want to take some time and i want to you know dive into the water see what i find all right. So uh, while he's doing that, uh, Chibi, you just kind of uh, go back out, and uh, everybody <laughs> else you see Tonga it following, and then he just casually jumps off the side of the ship. <laughs> uh, Tilda right. sees this. Uh, she hasn't seen a fish man before, so she's <laughs> almost alarmed at first, and then she just kind of like sees him casually jump off and. I'm just watching him, like, like. <laughs> Is that normal? Yeah, he's a fish. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna uh, redefine what normal is around us. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's, uh... A anyway, um... How old are you, Tilda? Uh, 22. Nice. You're older than me. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. How old was I? I think I was 19. Or 18. No, I was 18. You're, you're tall for your age. Yeah, well, my dad was... Wait, my mother was a half... Uh, was a giant. Wait. Giant. Um, it was, it was my father. It was your it father. It was my father. <laughs> I remember you your backstory because like I pay attention. In the distance. Hey. Giant <laughs> woman. <laughs> All I wanna be a guy who gets to see a giant woman. You hear like water thrashing, and you just like just hear a giant woman in the distance, and I dive back in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Sam, give give the uh, um, Tonga's gonna need a quick roll for his uh, survival to find us some fish right. with that advantage. Well, well, we'll just go for a straight one because, like, you haven't had too much preparation for this. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Survival. That's a All ten. Right. So you you go down and you manage to net a few fish, just to you know right. the typical uh, some yeah. some local fish. Nothing Night, too extravagant. Uh, I roll a quick perception check to like scout the the area beneath the the ship a little bit. Oh, absolutely. Uh, give me a perception check. You see uh, a blurry-ish uh, shape kind of swimming down deep below. Hmm. Okay. I kind of like look at it for a little bit. I'm kind of like take make it like a mental note of it and I'll check back on that later. And I'm just kind of like... <laughs> Grab my catch and swim back up and climb over the side. All right. Hmm, that's weird. Okay. 
I just had to. All right. Um, yeah, I'll take some time and uh, can I? I believe I have a pirate prestige, right? I can I so, do? Yeah. Can I do my first class feast? Uh, yeah, go right ahead. Um, is it, no, wait, is this the one? I want the one that's during the long... Well, we haven't done it, but... It's during a short rest. Um, hmm. Well, this is moving into a long rest. Yeah, so can I still use this? Can I just be part of the long rest? Uh, you know what? If you want to use it as part of a long rest, that's fine. Okay. Cool. So um, I can prepare enough of this food for a number of preachers equal to four plus my proficiency. Uh, at the end of the short rest, any creature who eats the food and spends one or more hit die or gains an extra 1d8. Yeah, which... Uh, I thought you already had like a bonus to... Uh that kind of stuff at the start of a day. Yeah, I have the, the food preparation where I can make um, maybe this is what I'm thinking of. With yeah. one hour of work or when you finish a long rest, you can cook a number of treats equal to your proficiency bonus. Uh, these special treats last eight hours. I think in this case, we'll just uh, you don't have to spend the pirate prestige. Uh, you, cook, you take an hour uh, yeah. So you kind of uh, cook up a meal. Yeah, and I kind of imagine like the leftovers are what we'll, you will be used as like the treats. Like, yeah, we'll, you guys we'll go with that. that. That sounds like that sounds good to me. Nice. And that way you don't have to use your prestige. And so uh, as you are working in the kitchen, uh, the 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 uh, <laughs> the aroma lures everybody in. Uh, Rory has been watching you for about twenty minutes now, and. As he does, he just oh, yeah. kind of uh, goes up. His, uh, Tonga, do you do you want any help? I, I I don't know how helpful I could be, but it might go faster. Yeah. I'll um yeah, I'll have him like I'll kind of turn to him and I'll go. You know what? Yeah, can you head down to the uh, the storage and grab some vegetables, some of our dried meats. All right, will do. And, and some, of our, some of our wines, thank you. Oh, absolutely. And then he just rushes off. I kind of look around the kitchen. I see I have, like, my tankards, like, <laughs> that I kind of keep in there. And then yeah. I'll kind of, like, go back to cutting up the fish. And I'll, like, start filleting them real nice and start grilling them. Ooh, that, that does sound good. And as uh, you're doing so, uh, Matilda... Kind of a, she sits in a, a chair at the edge of the dining area, watching you carefully. Can I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Mm. Is she suspicious? She seems kind of skittish. Oh, okay. Can I make a perception check about her? Like a like a combined like perception insight as I'm cooking and uh, stuff? Let's go with the insight. I haven't, like, I haven't like spoken to her yet. I've just kind of been giving her yeah. like a... Okay, so we'll go with insight. See, really see what your read is on her. Because yeah. like you know I'm that you're being like, watched. Yeah. yeah you're, you're trying to get a vibe here. Five chip. Yeah, and I'm kind of like, how should I approach her? Yeah. 17? All right. You catch glances at her out of the corner of your eye, and, and you're careful as you do so. Mm -hmm. And it, you've experienced kind of having people look at you before uh, for various reasons, whether mm -hmm. out of simple curiosity, out of disgust and disdain, mm -hmm. and more importantly out of suspicion yeah you recognize that she seems to be scared but mm -hmm. you don't think it's necessarily you yourself right, right. just like 
you overall if that makes any sense like she yeah, no, seems to be a, a very cautious type so as i'm as i'm cooking and i'm kind of getting into like you know the vibing headspace i'm kind of like i imagine i'm like humming to myself a little bit as like you hear the chopping you know um you would see kind of like the glow of my lights kind of like pulsating throughout my body and like running like up and down my lines and like flashing my arms when i move and like kind of see like the backlight on the walls and i kind of want to put off this like purposeful almost like a calming display ah i see you're trying to make her as feel like, at ease right as i'm kind of like getting to like the natural vibe of like what i love to do right mm. it, it, it's like a in uh, Ratatouille, where like uh, he gets all like tasting the flavors and cooking, yeah, and, like, you see yeah, all little exactly. sparks and little floofs. And like it's a while, it's been a while since I imagine Tonga has like had like an audience. It's almost like a like a hibachi, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. He's like, like being a little bit extra with it, like. You know um, what? Give me a uh, performance check. Yeah, that sounds fun. Do a plus three amount of performance. Fourteen. All right. Hey, you do exactly as you described. It, it's good. It's uh, it's more than she's seen in anybody cooking in her life. And she does seem to be kind of a uh, like. It goes from her eyes being on you to more on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's all right so after about an hour of uh, food prep and rory kind of uh running uh, back and forth uh, getting things and helping to uh, set the table for you your your meal is complete nice so you all um gain an extra d8 when we heal after our rest and stuff Uh, you should roll that mm -hmm. as a universal d8. That way we oh, yeah. just like all one roll. Okay, alright. D8. Do I add anything to it or no? no just a d8. Okay. Five. Hey, hey, that's pretty good. And everyone will get that, including Tilda. Yeah, and then right the... Now? And then the tree, yeah. Yeah, that'll like be a, that's going to be temp HP. That'll be good until the next long rest. Yeah, and then... um. Yeah, it stacks. Um, uh, and then... Well, your, your old temp HP will go away because you're taking oh, a yeah. rest. So this will be what yeah, will yeah, replace yeah. it. Can and I then when... No, you, it, it, replace, it wears off. And then you... Yeah. Every, like, shorter long rest. Um, and then the treats that you guys will all have will give you five temporary points. When you're got little treats? Yeah. yeah it, like, a, it, it, it makes an extra, extra like, little... <laughs> I say, I'll make them into like these nice, like little, like crab cake muffins. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> He's just got like little side bentos for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> After you guys are all done eating, I'm like, I place down this like tray of these little like package boxes, and I'll like wrap them nice in like a fish skin, like <laughs> kind of like. Spoil us. Yeah, and I'm like, here you go. A little something for like, tomorrow. Yeah. And, and I'll kind of like sit down at the table and I'll look at Tilda and like as we're all like eating and stuff I'll kind of go so you are an orphan? Uh, not exactly uh, hmm, you're putting me on the spot here I, I, I I'm honestly I'm scared to tell you too much about myself I kind of look at Rory a little bit and give him like a like a knowing like grin, and I'm like, oh, that's all right. You don't have have to explain if you are not quite yet. Yeah. You, you're sure? I mean, usually when when um usually people press harder. No, we are welcoming and comfortable with all walks. And I kind of look to Rory and I look to Akisu and I'm like, we all come from obscure places. You need not explain why you are here today. And then only is what you yeah. plan to do tomorrow. Rory just kind of uh, 
backs you up in this, and he's just like, Up until a few days ago, I was living on the streets. I kind of just, like, raise my hand from a, a little bit, just like, I, I fell from the sky. He so, fell like... from the sky. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I ran from my home in the deep to come here, you know. I am an orphan to this, essentially. Then uh, Rory just kind of looks to you, he's like, is uh, orphan to this, does that mean you're are your parents still alive? Mm. I kind of think on it for a minute. Unlikely. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> He's like, oh. At least not all of them. I'll say that. Yeah, he kind of like ponders that and gives a little bit of a nod. And after kind of like looking around, and she does see that like fishman, mink, guy who says he's from Sky Island, and little orphan <laughs> dude, just... crazy man, yeah, and giant woman. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I, I I suppose I could. I suppose I could tell you a little bit. The. The, the people that I had worked for recently, they, they've they been tangled up with the, the Frostforge Syndicate in town, and I'm trying to... I want to get away from here as fast as possible. Is the Frostforge Syndicate a name that I recognize? Uh, give me a history check. Eighteen. All right. Just a moment here. From what you've heard, they're a kind of a shadowy criminal organization in the North Blue. They're known for their techno for having advanced tech, smuggling, illegal weapons, and uh, technology of the like. Mm -hmm. Technology. But, is there... Yeah. They're also uh, known nod. for uh, the. Actually, um, you didn't know about that before, so uh, you know that they smuggle uh, lots of uh, stuff. Right, they're they're in the smuggling game. Yeah, that I would understand. I kind of nod as she mentions their name, and I go. Mm. <laughs> When you say get away, you mean leave the North Blue or find new employment? Both, if possible. I mean, there's no leaving the North Blue. You'd have to go through the Grand Line. Or well, just as bad. The, just I kind of gave a like my tooth grin as she says the Grand Line. <laughs> I just kind of look at everyone and I'm like, that, that's the... That, that's the plan, right? She she stands up abruptly. Uh, her seat scoots back uh, aggressively uh, as she does so. You're not serious. No. Nope. Oh, we're serious. I kind of like chuckle a little bit under my breath. As serious as the sea is blue. <laughs> as you say that, I was just about to say my like my glow like re lights, but it turns like a deep like dark purpley blue before it kind of like fades out again and I like I got a smile at Snyder death case here from what I understand going to the going to the grand line is a death sentence not for us she kind of she stands and ponders for a moment so far hmm. you're looking at the next king of the pirates Going to the Grand Line is nothing for me. She eyes you quizzically. Hmm. I kind of like 
take a sip from like my I like slam it down. Imagine the hunts to be had at the grave. The creatures exist out there. The experiments I could get my hands on. The new forms of medicine. Not to mention the money to be made. The new king of the pirates. That's a side I want to be on. She does perk up hearing that. Uh, this is a... Being two years after the death of Gold Roger, many pirates have taken to the Grand Line. So, it's this isn't an unusual story as far as uh, she's heard. Right. She kind of thinks on it for a moment. Well, I can't say I like it. But you very well might be my best bet to get out of here. That's the spirit. And, and if that is do what you want and the path you choose to walk, mm. we will help you get there. That certainly would be mean about you as have far to as fight I can by get. Our side, but you can at least be safe here. Or safe enough, I guess. Hmm. You're, she looks around to all of you. You're strong? Obviously. I mean, and she just kind of sighs to herself. Fine. You've already employed me, and I, I guess I'm in it with you guys. It's about as good a chance as I'm gonna get to get a get away, and I guess I'd rather and take the grand line. And it'll be one great adventure. Yeah. I guess we'll see. So they say you're not much of a fighter. That's fine. Yeah, she sits back down. You. <laughs> <laughs> they say you're you have a way with a needle and thread, right? Your seamstress. Uh, she kind of uh, gestures to uh, her uh, skirt and other parts of uh, the ragtag clothes that you can see underneath the, the cowl. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, okay, uh, you study it for a moment. And it look, although it's clearly very patchwork due to the oh. ver the the stark difference between fabrics... You can right. tell that the seams are pretty well done. Nice. Okay, I kind of give her a nod. You can say, see proper material. Proper that material we have. would be nice. I kind of stand up straight. I think we could work together. I think me and you could make something great. You see this, like... Almost like a mischievous, but like creative, like gleam in my eye. Like as I'm thinking on like new things I could do with like yeah. someone who could help me with this. Having someone that can handle uh, weaver's tools. Yeah, I kind of like look at my hands for like a second. I kind of like pinch my fingers, my fat like clawed hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, get, get you, like, some gloves or something. <laughs> Make me look stylish. So as uh, she just kind of uh, looks around, so, uh... Akisu, what, what is... I, I know you're the captain, and art giant, apparently. Uh... What inspired you to be a pirate? If you don't mind my asking. Well, I always admired Gold Roger for what he was doing. Because he was just free. I never really had that as a child. Well, I kind of did, but I was only limited to a certain area. Mm, she just kind of nods freedom, to that. No freedom at all. Yeah. And what he, really, what he said when he was executed really... Really stuck in my heart. <laughs> I remember. She kind of like uh, looks down with a somber expression. 
freedom, huh? It'd be... Sounds nice. I don't want you to think like it came for us. You're just here doing what you You're want. You're as free as any of us. Yeah. You're free to leave whenever you want. We're not you holding really, you here. You don't have to stay. Yeah. But... Yeah. She kind of looks to uh, you, Tonga, in just... You see the the framework of a smile cross her face, but not yeah. completely get there. Right. Yeah, I kind of like smile and and like agree with what everyone else is saying. And I'm like, uh, you choose to work with us, then you join us as a friend and as an ally, not as a servant, a slave, or an employee. You can fight with us, you can bleed with us, you can ride with us. But we ride together. She looks at you intently. Then, as she uh, kind of uh, looks down and back to herself, she just, in oh, she, in an almost a decisive tone, she says to herself, for now, I sail with you. I I can't guarantee that I'll stay. I just don't know what the future holds right now. <clears throat> but for now, I, I think this is the right choice. And for that choice, I should earn my keep. So she stands up and collects the plates around the uh, table and uh, silverware and everything and proceeds to bring uh, all the dishes to uh, clean them herself. That's so nice. Well, Tilda, just know that your your work will never go unappreciated. Mm. And Tonga, you notice particularly... Mm -hmm that she grabs the knife from uh, each of the uh, plating sets before the rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of like make like a mental note of that. And I just kind of look to her as she like passes me. And I'm say, no, Tilda. Do not take our kindness, Grant. For we made nice people on Good dreams. People have died by our hands, and more will. She meets your gaze evenly and just kind of nods to you. And I kind of smile to the rest. That meal was delicious. Yeah, yeah, it was I'm pretty damn good. I don't think I could eat another bite. I could. <laughs> well, I gotta like gesture. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we, we can just like I don't know, get ready for bed. Uh, is there anything else I'm you guys want to like, do before you take a long rest? I'm gonna kind of like walk over to Chibi, and I'm just gonna be like. Keep an eye on her, yeah? Well, should we move the boat before we sleep? Hmm, gotta think on it. Yeah, how about you sail us out to, uh, far enough to where we can see the, you know, the docks. Hmm. So I lock it there. Weighing acre off island, so y'all are kind of away from yeah. anything too too much yeah. safe from prying eyes uh, Rory uh, kind of uh, like pulls himself you on up. your head yeah. uh, go ahead go thanks ahead. Oh, sorry. That, was, that was it <laughs> okay so Rory just kind of uh, looks to Snyder it's like so I guess uh, we should probably have first watch tonight 
I uh, suppose so. Oh, although, uh, it's gonna be hard not to sleep after a meal like that. Oh my what are you god, you have same? no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so you two kind of like, uh, proceed up to the crow's nest. I called not the first launch. <laughs> after you get uh, first pick of which watch <laughs> so I, I imagine like you guys go up there but like you nestle up and just, just immediately clonk out like, <laughs> <laughs> so they worry like oh, I guess I got it <laughs> alright so you guys manage your uh you're to get through your long rest on, on board your ship without a hitch. And uh, who's taking last watch? I guess I'll um, do last watch. I mean, last watch would be like, uh, yeah, I guess I would be coming up probably like at the end of like last week. Actually, yeah, it would make for sense like, for Tonga because he yeah. cooks breakfast. Yeah, um, I'll be like up fishing in the morning and then I'll do my. Yeah. So as you're uh, ending uh, the last part of the last watch, you do see that Matilda makes her way to the edge of the ship and just kind of stares out into the sea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of watch her as I like you know, get everything hoisted up and ready. Um, make sure uh, you all add the 510 HP after you do your longest. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to bring in Get ready to start like my fishing for the morning. So I'll like I'll get like my nets ready, you know, like, my bags, all my hooks and everything. All right. Uh, can I make like a perception check as I like watch her and like look at everything? Yeah, we'll actually have this perception check uh, go into uh, your fishing as well. Wait. Okay. Yeah, two for one. Let's do it. Advantage or not? Uh, nah, because you're splitting your attention. Gotcha. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> that is a split attention. <laughs> you kind of lose. It's track. a beautiful I'm morning. It, I'm lost in the sun. You're, you're just taking it in. <laughs> you breathe in that that cool sea air, and I'm just too excited by the new catches for today, man. <laughs> Yeah, as you're about to like, kind of go off the side of the ship to uh, get a fresh catch, you almost slip a little bit on some frost that forms on uh, the, the side of it. Mm. It vaults over. <laughs> I bet I'll dive into the water. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you, you make Do a I... mental note of that. I like a... Did I immediately notice that, like, the water and, like, the air is, like, colder? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just kind of, like, make, like, yeah. a little yeah. bit. The uh, summer season in the north blue is shorter than other blues. So you know mm -hmm. this well. Okay. Yeah. And as you uh, kind of search around, you really don't find anything of, uh, interest underwater this mm -hmm. morning it seems like a uh, the spot that chibi had picked not a bountiful spot right okay and you're trying not to venture too That's far right. from the ship yeah too far do i get anything or no uh give me a survival check because like a... okay. you do know, at, not, you know your way around but... like you may not see anything but you can still you, you still yeah. have the skills I'll be Despite not having seen anything, you set your bait. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I like that. And as a I'll result, set my bait and I'll like tie it to the side of the ship and everything. You get a whole Can bunch I? of carp and a t and one tuna. Like Ooh. just a small school of carp. Alright. Not bad then. Can I dive in to look for salvaged ships? Uh, you can dive in. 
it's gonna be cold. Taking your morning time as well. <laughs> no, I, this is how we bathe. <laughs> Fair enough. School. Uh, carp. It's for, for our sake, we'll say that's about six carp. Okay. Carp, carp. And the tuna I can guess. count for like, uh, let's just say like a, that. That would be a, like twenty rations. It's a whole lot. Of tuna. Yeah, tunas are big. Despite being big, Akisu eats a lot, so I think that sounds fair. Yeah, yeah. You go through food fast. Got big stomach. Love it. Tuna. Fuck yeah, yellow tail. <laughs> <laughs> all right sick. all right akisu so you kind of uh you, you swim under the water uh, give, give me a perception check nine that's a six yeah but i have a nope. plus three on perception. Oh, okay <laughs> okay okay because like it uh, you, you see what, what I was thinking. I was like, oh, hey, that's a, that's yeah. a six. Yeah, that's not a nine. <laughs> you look around and you don't see anything noteworthy. Uh, you've gone far enough out that all you can see is just like the, the deep, dark blue of the abyss below. Mm. All right, I'll just go back then. As you uh, reach the surface, you, you kind of feel like the, the sting of the cold morning air hit your skin. The the water definitely feels warmer than the the, the air. Interesting. I'm gonna kind of like swim up to Akisu and like swim around her real quick, kind of like scare her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm just gonna try to like hit you in the back of the head and then miss. <laughs> water is his domain. I'm breached. I'm just like, find anything? Wouldn't you like to know? There's you nothing out here. This place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I, I, I said okay. domain, and immediately my mind goes to domain expansion. <laughs> Octopus's <laughs> garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I didn't really find anything either. TB knows in spots, no one would come to look over here. You're so right. As you, you two plan aboard the ship, you yeah. uh, see, uh, Chibi, uh, I would assume that you're still kind of doing like little bits of work here and there on the ship. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's kind of our baseline of assumption. So you kind of hear her uh, pounding away at uh, some stuff and, you know, typical carpentry sounds. <laughs> 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 Busting out the drill. Chibi's a Milwaukee girl. She doesn't do the wall. <laughs> All right. So All right. Th the morning is yours, everybody. What do you do? I want to go into town Set to save. look for a target. <laughs> Are you saying target? What do you mean target? <laughs> or Rory can practice off. No, we can just make one. <laughs> yeah, just grab a sandbag from down below. Well, we got tons of shit. We can just make <laughs> Tonga just paints a bunch of sandbags. Yeah, like... <laughs> Did we want to do anything more with the zoo pirates, or was that it? That's up to you guys. How much you want to incite uh, the factions of the island is up to you. You also know that uh, there are other uh, powers that be that are inciting uh, stuff between those factions. Right. Ah, oh, yes. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Do you guys have a pirate flag yet? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I, it, it, I forgot it. about that. I forgot about that. Okay. Um, hmm. Is this ship sailing? 
possible like, to go onto the open ocean yet? That, uh, so I would imagine you're asking uh, Chibi that. Yeah. Yeah, we can, like, get together. We'll say, like, me and you go find Chibi. And, uh, Chibi, you know that... That is something that I was thinking as well. You, you know that you could reasonably uh, sail, but you are concerned that you might not have all the uh, com all the stuff that Tonga had uh, talked to the uh, harbor master about. Yeah. Especially seeing as there there is a lot more that needs to be done with the ship. You, you're able to move around the island reasonably enough. Mm -hmm. But long voyages. You don't think she's ready for it. Yeah, that's why we needed to um, get the bounty of the zoo pirates to get yeah. money to fix the ship up. Right. So we still need to do that. Yeah, because yeah. there are still lots of sections of the ship that are incomplete. Mm. It's just, it is water-worthy. Right. Seaworthy. If we do like, any like, rough water or storms, it's like, if we... Whoa. Yeah, We'd right. be a little fucked up. Yeah. Okay. Um. So what's the schmoove now? We gotta get this bounty. So where do we think we are on the? Do we, you know, like, do we think that has anything? Okay, here's what we should do. I think we should go back to go back to the island. Um, maybe we run scouting. You know, we'll like go around or to hear anything. If anybody's beefing, right? We're kind of just waiting for them to yeah. Um, I'm gonna kind of look to Chief and say, "Do you think you can, you know, hang around the zoo pirates a little bit, see if you hear anything?" Yeah. That might be a good uh, position. Mm. Maybe you could like take Rory with you or something. I need a snack. I'm kind of skeptical of how high, how far we could get with that, though. I mean, the the guy before saw us that we sent over to the Thai Man Pirates. He, we we might. Hmm. He saw you. Me, I'm just unsure. So I know you know Chibi kind of are the the in with the Zoo Pirates a little bit, you know. Yeah, but she also disappeared the other night when they were trying to uh, draw attention during uh, the the beaver dude's speech, mm. or was it the captain's it's... speech? It was, it was the, the beaver guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah, the, the cause right. captain was doing his thing, and then the beaver dude was. Hmm. What is what is his deal anyway? What do you mean? The beaver guy? Yeah, I mean, just like. He, he could have easily thrown you under the bus. Like, he knows that he wasn't attacked by the Time Man pirates. I'm puzzled as to why he didn't say anything. He uh, a bit. Yeah, he saw the, the opportunity to kind of rise himself a little bit, you know. Hmm. Make himself look better in the eyes of his boss, you know. That makes sense. Adults are always trying to suck up to each other like that. Yeah, they're really weird about that kind of stuff. It's hilarious. <laughs> All right. So, what's the what's the mission, Captain? So we know where the Zoom and Heart Space is, where they at least had their party. Yeah. Right. But we do know where the Time Man Pirates base is. Uh, yeah. So we should yeah, either right pick the captain of the Time Man Pirates to take their bounds, or captain of the Zoo Man Pirates. Hmm. I kind of like. And I feel like Time Man Pirates is the best one to go with because we know where the base is. True. I kind of like nod. And I'm like, and if we remember. There's a certain creature we may like to hunt in those woods. I kind of like get the shark tooth grin, like really wide. <laughs> so I feel like we should like prep 
to do a big battle with the Thai man pirates and then go back to their base. Mm. Those traps were annoying going through the woods to begin with. Yeah, so we should prep for traps. Maybe we can hunt the werebore on the way. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the werebore. You would like that, wouldn't you, Tonga? I would. Is there anything that you can talk about? Huh? Do you really think you should get the tag man pirates in? Either way, one of they're gonna be hard to get the, to bite. There certainly but were we, a lot of them. I mean, who supported training them against each other? No matter how way you slice it, Captain, there's people. The the Thai man and the zoo just have a lot of people. Yeah, but we at least know where the Thai man pirates' base is. We don't know where the zoo man pirates' base is. So I'm gonna kind of look to Aki soon and say, "So, best case scenario, we attack them, and what? Kill their cat." First hmm. they kill us all. Let's <laughs> say, uh, do we appear as the zoo? Yeah, because we at least got the hell of Darius out, even though he's no longer with us. Yeah, yeah but Darius good. had to meet up with the, the guy that's got his family. But wasn't he trying to fight? Wasn't he trying to start a war with the Zoo Man Pirates and the, um... Oh yeah, so him? are we. I think that was the yeah. guy that he works for, and then Gordy was also working for that guy. Maybe we should find out what what his deal is. I mean... If uh, Darius is, like, if this guy bought mm. Darius and his family. Maybe they heard something, huh? And then, like, uh, he's got, and he's hired Gordy. I mean, like, that that's something big there, probably. Okay, so, so how about this? We take the morning, you know, do some scouting in town. We meet up with that guy, see if we, you know, see if there's any, like, leads, you know, see if anything's been moving. And then we reconvene and we go hunt the wolf boar. <laughs> wolf boar, wolf boar. My man. <laughs> he, he jumps for a high five. I slap it. Bang. <laughs> Tongue, My lights flare man. up with excitement. His, his hand is like really red after that. It's like it crumbles. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Got a little excited there. We were sorry. I haven't been this excited in a long time. Uh, there's nothing like the thrill of <laughs> it. He, he goes up to Snyder. Is, is it broken? <laughs> Make a <it> free. <laughs> <laughs> You, you look it over and it's just like it's just really red <laughs> but you think you'll be fine you, you, you'll be you'll be fine buddy the strong lad <laughs> <laughs> you're a big boy I, I I definitely think I'm gonna get strong if if uh, Tonga has high fives like that you're not wrong there I immediately walk off and I'm going back to my workshop to get my gear and stuff. <laughs> uh, Tilda walks up to the, the rest of the party and she just kind of uh, has a, it seems like an unspoken question as, as she kind of lo like looks to you guys. But she kind of uh, shivers a little bit in the, the brisk morning air. So what you guys are trying to what is it exactly you're trying to do? Taking take on the 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 Thai man and the zoo pirates? One of them. Not, not. At least create disturbance to cause discourse against the high political parties <laughs> that control the planet. <laughs> Just go into oh, you know what? <laughs> let's, let's start the war. That way they take out some of their ranks so we don't have to. Yeah, we kind of... Yeah, that's a, I mean, I'm not there anymore. But like, they, we want them to fight and kind of like thin each other out, weaken each other, so we can come in, swoop in for the glory. 
and take the island as ours and protect it from those who want to do harm. Exactly. No, we just want money. No. <laughs> <laughs> money helps. I love <laughs> Snyder's sense of justice on this pirate crew. <laughs> <laughs> She kind of like looks around at all of you. It's like, honestly, though, with both of these hmm. pirates gone, this island would be better off. So, technically, we are doing justice. Exactly. Another plan. Hmm. I have to look at a thing. <laughs> Damn. Where did I... This is a great show of alignment. <laughs> uh, honestly, I love it. I'll be right back. Okay, we'll give you a moment. What do you think, JB? I mean, I'm not there anymore, but like, out of, uh, above table. <laughs> out of character. I think that, um, what we're gonna do was just like turn them against each other, yeah. so that I can get them to be like thinned out. Yeah. I would say it's on the pirates. I feel Hmm. So Tilda just kind of like uh, stands there for a moment. You might be right about taking out the zoo pirates. I'm not sure I want to tangle with them, but I'm here. I mean, if they had their way, they could do some pretty... I'm scared of what they could do. They can a lot. <laughs> so can we. Mm. You, you you all mentioned that that beaver fellow Woodrow how you know his name he was working with the Frostforge syndicate doing what they were trading trading what some some sort of powder stuff dance powder Dance, dance. Fuck, fuck if I know. <laughs> the, probably dance the, the smuggling crew I was working wait. with before, they we were just hired to move a bunch of this green stuff. Wasn't it green powder that we found on the timeline pirates? Yeah. You know we have some. I want to show it. Can we show it to her? Be like, does it look uh, like this? I think I will we'll probably have some more in like some of the crates, yeah. Uh, Tonga has it because, like, uh, he had like the the little sack that you guys had of it. Yeah, and you show it to her. Yeah, like you can come find me. Yeah, that that's the stuff. I can't say I know what it is. Probably it's dance some... powder. The fuck's dance powder? Like calling it a street. And them screeks. <laughs> Dance powder is what, like, it makes it rain, right? I forgot. It takes, uh, like, essentially rainfall from other countries to make oh, it rain right. specifically in that country. Yeah. yeah. It, it causes rain precipitation drought. in the, uh, in a country wide area. Does it take, like, a lot of it, or can just, like, a little bit do that? Um,. A whole bag of it could basically uh, cover an entire country. Like a, like say you had like one of those, uh, like a dog, like one of those uh, twenty-two pound dog bag size things of it. Mm -hmm. okay. So this little, this little thing that we have is probably like a town or something. Yeah, what you got is Enough town sized. Interesting. So. The Time End Pirates were also dealing with this. Trading it. Not just the Zoo Pirates. No, you got that off of uh, the Zoo. What? 
Yeah, you, yeah, we got it off. You of guys got that from their storage house. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought we got it off some of the people we fought last time, and that was from the time end pirates. No, you guys. No, we asked the guy in the it. woods about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you'd, you'd asked him about it. All right, never mind. So it might like, be more beneficial for the town if we took on the zoo pirates instead. I mean, we're essentially doing both of them. That's true. Because, like, now especially that we know that both of them have been, like, fucking with it, or at least know of it. Well, you know, we, will, we don't want anyone to. As far right. as you know, the, the zoo have uh, been the trading zoo. in it. Right, 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 okay. And, like, that, I feel like that is, like, cause enough to, like... We know, like, the tie are bad, but now we especially know that the zoo are fucking around with, like, you know, stuff they shouldn't have. Yeah, Whatever that stuff is, I want nothing to do with it. Until it just kind of, like, takes a step back after uh, giving it her, after inspecting it. What if what would happen if we made it into bullets? Would you like suck the moisture out of somebody? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think it's a little too slow to uh, effectively do something like that. All right. It's like a poison, but it slowly dehydrates you. If you manage to get it into someone's bloodstream, you <laughs> that that would cause some damage probably. Yeah, it like dehydrates them from the inside. Oh shit! Like if you eat a silica packet. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly how it would function. Uh, if you manage to make a poison out of that, it would dehydrate someone and focus all their uh, focus the, the moisture in their body to one area. That, I'm, gonna, I'm uh, just gonna be like, listen, Tonga, I need this. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> I'm gonna look to Chibi and I'm like, brain. Chibi, you, you realize. What you're asking me to make, right? What? what? No, no, Akisu. Oh, sorry, Aki. You, you recognize what you're asking me to make, right? Yeah, imagine if we have, like, this really power going up against, and I just happen to shoot it in their mouth. What happens if you miss? What does happen if I miss? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> That's a repercussion. <laughs> they have, so how is the dance powder used? Yeah, that is true. Uh, huh? uh, traditionally, it's just like a, you have to burn it. Burn it? Mm. So like, if it hits a tree, then it's not going to do anything. It's just going to be powder. Do no, you know how bullets work? <laughs> <laughs> Black powder. Explosions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I see. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say I see I'm gonna this. like think on it I I probably could make something that didn't require that it to be ignited Maybe Listen, like I'm, a, I'm doing it in a slingshot I don't need fire I don't need gunpowder I mean yeah but you said a bullet <laughs> but it's in a slingshot though it's it's like a pellet. I could I could put it in it's a pellet. A pellet. Yeah, I have these glass vials. Remember? Okay. I I would imagine that Tonga uh, not Tonga, a uh, Snyder would probably be mortified of yeah. as a dog <laughs> the as a physician. Implications of this is like what the fuck are we thinking? <laughs> you would have to, these would have to be like a last resort. In order for like Tonga's morality to like allow him we to make are this inducing place. cotton mouth on the most extreme of levels. Yeah. I'm gonna just kinda look to Aki. I'm gonna be like I'll think on it. Think on it real hard. <laughs> really, that is a big ask for Tonga. Yeah, yeah that's true. He, he, like, he's, I'm, a, I'm kidding, he's a man of the like, sea. But like, yeah, that's like, oof. <laughs> and I especially feel like, as like a fish man, the, the idea of like being dehydrated is like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it would be like a, you could, almost like setting like his own kind on fire. Like, yeah. You know? I, I think that's a fair assessment of that. Like a fish man putting other fish men into slavery. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. I like 
I'm not so nice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, I like this though. Mm. All right. Tilda looks at uh, all of you. Like, honestly, didn't even want to say anything before, but. If you get me involved in any of that, you you need to know very well what you're getting into. Oh, we know. Unless you have information we don't have. I mean, maybe? What do you know? I, I... What? Actually, that's a... Make a persuasion check. Hmm... <laughs> How did I know? You, how did I know you were gonna yeah. roll that? It was almost like, probably, did you probably intimidation, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oof. Well, if well, you said this dance powder it gathers pre like rainfall, right? Uh huh. Well, I, I might have uh, some inclination. You see, the the Frost Forge Syndicate—they're the ones that paid my my crew previously to do stuff to to smuggle it. And one of the things they kind of specialize in is weather manipulation the crew or the frost forest syndicate the, the frost forged they okay they work with technology that can make things cold and if this dance powder can manipulate the weather and and they combine that with any of their their stuff that they that they do already I I don't I'm not sure mm. what that could mean I mean the north blue is already prone to snow as is but I can't imagine what they'd want to with being able to alter the weather in such a way but I don't think Perhaps I like the, the idea Perhaps this goes deeper than even we thought. Maybe. I can't think of any reason why the the zoo pirates would want to do something like this. I mean, they're they're famous for in, across the North Blue alongside the Time Man for just being a bunch of stagnant losers sitting on an island. I kind of like. just wanted money kind of nod at this as I'm thinking and I, I feel like I would come to the conclusion that like so the the, the Frost Forge Syndicate has this ulterior motive right of altering the weather putting it in their domain right so maybe maybe they couldn't find a way to get it right so they had to turn to the zoo pirates um and then maybe with that, you know, the Thai pirates are like, maybe they heard about this plan somehow. Or maybe like the, maybe the Frost Forge came to them and they didn't have the answer. So they went to the zoo, right? So maybe the, the, the Frost Forge Syndicate are like the, the big up at the top of the pyramid scheme, right? And the zoo pirates are just getting their money absorbed. And the Thai pirates want their money, you know, but they don't have, you know, access. So they're, they're trying to go through other means to kind of get involved. So I feel like after we deal with the zoo and maybe the Thai, maybe we should come for them next. Stop the flow of the dance powder. Find out where maybe even the zoo get it from. And kind of cut the snake off of the neck before we get to come for the head. 
And at, at the very least, Tonga, I mean, think about it. The notoriety. <laughs> if, if we take them out, Akisu's Akisu bounty is going to be through the roof. on the map. Yeah. yeah. Although being Maybe that is just what we need. You're so right. That that's that's some C cred right there. We need some cred. <laughs> I kind of pat Rory on the head. I kind of like palm his scalp. I'm just like, you make me more and more proud every day. <laughs> Tonga, you're the father. I'm gonna I'm head. gonna look at Tilda and be like, you down for this? Because if not, then you probably need to leave. Well, as it stands, I need to leave. And if I can't leave, that only leaves fighting. And you are all, you seem pretty set out to take them down. And if they're working with Frostforge, then... I guess I have no choice but to ally myself with you. Well, think about it this way. If you ally yourself with us, you'll be safe. We'll take you where you want to go. We'll take you where you, you want to go. We'll keep you safe. Make sure you don't die. And the people that you worked for that probably enslaved you is going to be taken down. I'll, I'll say this. Just fair warning. If, if things go south, I might just turn tail. I think that's only fair to you after what you've done for me. Listen. If you decide to turn tail, we'll personally make sure you do not tell our plan to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> as, if, as if she wasn't already scared. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's just kind of liable to anyone. Kind of look at you know, Honestly, like, at this point, she's like an ally and a liability. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, like, we want her to, like, okay, whether we have to protect her, as long as she doesn't stab us in the back, you exactly. know, we're, we're good. Do I have to do an intimidation check for that? <laughs> she she kind of <laughs> looks to you, it's just like, as far as she's concerned, that's standard practice with most people. Yeah. All right. I kind of looked at Tilda and I'm like, can I have your word? Even if you choose to to run, choose to make sure you are safe. I want your word that you will never backstab us. Because we'll stab you from the front. She kind of takes a note of your wording there. Make a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> We're all so intimidating and then Sam's like, okay. Because, <laughs> like, we, we are putting her in a position where she could fuck us. Yeah, right? exactly. Like, we're discussing our plans right in front of her, and we literally met her yesterday. <laughs> yeah, she just showed <laughs> up. You said this is a... What, Jay? Uh Persuasion? Yep, persuasion. Ooh! Oh, that's real good. She looks to you, and... She looks in your eyes for a moment, as if searching for any hidden ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. And then she just kind of, with with a bit of a sigh, she resigns herself and extends uh, her her frail hand to you. <laughs> I grasp it strongly, no, but grasp it. like a tone of like gentle, you know, not enough to hurt her, enough. To like know, like let her know that like I will protect her, but I will also hurt her if I have to. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. So before we make a name for ourselves, do we need to go into town where we're unwanted men and buy things? <laughs> <laughs> because like if we become famous for being pirates, people might be like, "That's a pirate! Get him!" Oh, I mean, I... that's standard practice. Yeah, we don't think <laughs> work around here. Like, <laughs> I already have like a 
kind of like a name for myself, right? So true, like, but not as a pirate. Yeah. Well, just true. wait till you get your pirate names from the Marines. <laughs> Do you already have them, like, already made up and you're just waiting for it to happen? Uh, some of them, yes. Nice. Alright. Anyway, do we yeah, need to go in uh, town to buy shit? Yeah, we can take, like, a shopping day. Right? What do you think we need? No idea. What do we need? Uh, do we want to get, like, ammo and weapons and stuff? Maybe get some armor for Tilda or something? True. Fortunately, you guys still should have a few guns left over, even though you saw yeah. most of them. Yeah, true. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, I'm maybe. pretty set on mm -hmm. bullets. Hmm. Yeah, because you guys had stocked up on that kind of stuff previously. I kind of looked the Snyder. Do you need any, like, uh, herbal remedies or potions or anything? Uh, I don't even <laughs> I don't even know how you guys stand on money right now. Oh, uh, we're, we're rich. <laughs> yeah, we're rich. <laughs> or at we, least well, I'm we just, rich. We just <laughs> need, like, a yeah, lot of more money than to fix the ship, right? Yeah, yeah. like, that's just... Getting the ship up and running, like it takes a compared to like standard lot. people, we're pretty rich. But yeah. like, I have like one point four million. Yeah, it's just like you're a bunch of middle class people trying to make it big. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So how I kind of much money did you say we needed? Uh, mm -hmm. I have it written down. Like uh, I think it was around. It was a few million. more million, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like right. it, it's one of those things where you guys had act. Through everything that you've done so far, you've accumulated just about enough to just pack up and leave. And like, if you wanted to, you could just be like, "Okay, all, all these plot hooks, nah. Yeah, okay, just <laughs> we'll just go somewhere out. else." But at the same time, you also have the the bait of, "Holy shit! If we take these guys out, that's some real money." Yeah, and that'll give and us enough to like cred. jumpstart. Yeah, everything. We basically want this to be like our origin story, like, oh, they're the pirates that took down the zoo, the tie, and the forge, you know? Stop their plot. That's, that's crazy street cred. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So with what you guys have and with the added benefit of your uh, new... Uh, crewmate that I need to give a stat block to. Yeah, I definitely want to get healing items and potions and um, stuff. For the sake of brevity, uh, we can... You guys can do that kind of in between. If we okay. if we wrap things up now, y'all can kind of figure <laughs> out what you want and need and just kind of get mm. those things for the inventory. Just like okay. a, with the... Uh... So you want to end it here? Yeah. My, my okay. wife's a talking to me about some stuff that needs my attention okay. so and we're about uh where we usually end up with session time okay do you where is the book for like the shops and stuff oh that's in the player uh the player's handbook actually just like okay a, 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 any of the a, any of these items in there fair game because like okay. most of them have prices and everything yeah yeah is there is there a One Piece book that you were using? I, I was yeah, like you guys have. Uh, it's uh, pinned in the server. Yeah, I find it. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And if anybody needs anything else from there, just to let me know. Naturally. Uh, Spencer, special. Equipment. Anything else before we uh, settle the session? No. Nope. I think that's good. I'm gonna give Tilda a hug. Aww. <laughs> um, let's see. I I don't know. If... Hmm. <laughs> uh, I want to roll, roll something because she's got she's got mixed feelings about that. Oh. She is kind of taken aback by it, but kind of accepts it. Nice. That's it. <laughs> All right. Yes. It's been a good session, and I'm looking forward to next week. Yeah. <sighs> All right. <sighs> and 
for everyone who's uh, stuck with us this entire time. Thanks for watching. And we'll, we'll see you all next time. Everybody can, can want to find out more, you can just check us out at the Nerd Militia YouTube channel or on our Discord, Nerd Militia. Bye. Next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us on this wild D&D &D adventure. We hope you had as much fun as we did, and if you're itching for more One Piece D&D or Nerd Militia Chaos, make sure to hit up our YouTube channel for all the latest shenanigans. Stay connected with us on Twitter at the Nerd Militia Zero for all the spicy updates, and if you're feeling generous or just want to keep us caffeinated, swing by our link tree and Patreon. Your support keeps the madness going. Until next time, adventurers, stay nerdy, stay awesome.